very first video we are going to watch is going to be talking about um, a, a person who was supposed to end up on the trip who didn't, um, kind of like one of those type of things. Um, and I'm going to, let me see, let me get it up here. Hold on. I don't know if y'all can hear it already. Hello, I can a hear it a little bit. I can hear it a little bit. I'm going to turn it up. I got to get the timestamp right anyway. Hold on one second. Is looking through a little thought too when photos online. And <laughs> Hold on. Clear. Isn't the window or the big payoff when you get to see? Almost there. I know. I know. I know but, get the uh, time right. Obviously, super tragic. All right, story. we're there. And, you know, the thoughts go out to all the families, but yeah, it's crazy. Look, one, one Vegas financier. His name is Jay Bloom. He had some sort of final destination type stuff where he could have been on that. You know how they, they sometimes people miss flights and that flight goes down. Y'all can hear this, okay? Kind of miss the. The yeah. submerged going down. Okay. The the guy who ran the whole thing, this Sutton, whatever his face is, he's basically was trying to <laughs> convince this Vegas is. guy, come on the ship, I'll give you a hundred thousand dollar discount. Bring your son on, I'll give him a hundred thousand dollar discount. The son was worried. Um the, the son didn't want to go. I'm laughing because the son didn't want to go on board because he was worried about giant squids. No, it, it's crazy. So he posted, Jay posted these uh, text message ex exchanges between him and the head of Ocean. Um, it's called Ocean Gate, right? Ocean Gate, yeah. Between him and that head of Ocean Gate. Um, and basically, the whole reason why they didn't end up going was uh, the son's friends at school, I believe, were telling him like, you know, oh, you know, they looked into it and like you could get attacked by a giant squid. You could get eaten by a whale. Get eaten by a whale. And so that was ultimately the reason why they didn't end up going because the son didn't want to go. And um, yes, they, they even tried to convince the son. Uh, the uh, head of Ocean Gate was willing to get on the phone, explain to him, hey, whales can't go that low. It's safe. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's got to thank his son for saving his life. Oh, totally. Or, or the son's friend. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoever that friend is out there that was worried about the giant squid. I, I mean, I feel like there's other worries I would have about going that far in the down in the ocean and a giant squid are getting eaten by a whale. That sounds wouldn't, like a, a cartoon. Wouldn't be towards the top of those uh, worries. But, but those are key. Regardless. They, nah, I mean, that junk did look like a knitted per 30. And they lived, he, he was <laughs> metal right, per 30. His son's friend is vindicated. How old was that kid that someone had to tell him that a whale can't eat him? I, I think but, he was yeah, like 13. As this sort of like saga wraps up. And do you notice that contract doesn't say anything about age? Yeah, because it, no, it's the fact that they were trying to get the kid. Now, where the hell them other two was going to sit? Now, you seen how they was all squared up in there. Mm -hmm. Where were they going to put them other two people? Those were grown men. In the, in the toilet. That's where they were going to go. They were going to sit in the toilet. At 13, he still didn't know that whales couldn't go that low? Girl, well, I didn't see the man who thought look, I had my period while I was pregnant. Look, Well, look, you got to pass the whale well area to get down there. So it's I mean, way down deep. But what if they had ended up, I don't know. You know, but he, kids he's... Think, these are rich children. I mean, I went to a, a great school, but still, like. He thought a, a, a whale was going to eat the. Uh... Well, no, they like said a... a whale could eat the submarine. I did. It looked like a capsule. At 13, yeah. it was one year away from high school. He should have known that whales couldn't go that low. I didn't know it until I watched the documentary about the Mariana Trench about two or three weeks ago. I got caught up in this documentary about the animals, as it, how they change, and you I didn't know. You Girl, didn't remember. I, didn't, I went to college to study broadcast. That's no, why I'm here. Like, you you got to pass the well area. You got to pass the well area. I passed that test. That's all that matters. My, like, come on now. You didn't remember. You knew at 13. As many times as you took... <laughs> You, you didn't remember. You were literally in school. I grew up in the Midwest. I knew how high snow could get. I knew that if, if, if it was foggy in the fall, the mornings where it was foggy, that's how many days it was going to snow. I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm we only knew what we needed to know. <laughs> I, I know pros was the only school that taught mean? stuff like that. Girl, they I'm didn't have no whales in Michigan. Frogs. We don't have no whales in Michigan. Damn, my damn eyeball hurt now. You talk, and I'm sitting here thinking like, "Ooh, is this foggy?" <laughs> and my damn eyes start hurting. 
Girl, that's what I learned. And however many mornings, if you wake up and it's foggy outside in the, in in the fall, that's how many times it's gonna snow in the winter. If you place and if you live in a place that don't snow all the time. But hold on, <laughs> I got a question for you guys. You remember, uh, like the next day or something like that, there was like, oh, we hear rhythm, ry- uh, uh, rhythmatic tapping, and, and but either thirteen or thirty minute intervals. Isn't that oh. confusing? No, it's not. It's weird. So, what, what was happening? What what was it? Bikini Pop. The what was, they go down there. They was they didn't turn into a go go band. You know what I'm saying? What, what the fuck was happening? And and the thing is, Talk that about a lot of the people tortures. were upset because now it's like, okay, there's no way that could have been that if you already knew they were dead on Sunday. Right. Why did you get us all invested in this story and we waking up every morning to new information? Like shit only happens in the morning. You notice that, right? Mm-hmm. It was Rock Nation. Like, what? I'm telling you. It, it had Jag- to be. I think Jaguar was in on this one herself. What? No, Her flying this- monkeys. You know she got all the resources. Right. She do. They could eat. They could reach the ocean, but you know they can't really reach the prisons like that. So. She they say no it was energy. the migrants that sunk. It was 700, 800 migrants. In, she in just went real fast because she ain't got no edges. She got mermaid Shut edges. Shut up. Tell me, Wish tell me I could be. be. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all, the shit that happened this week, this whole week was fucking crazy. I'm oh like, my, oh what my. else is going on? Let me tell you the craziest thing. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just I'm just going real quick. The craziest Go thing ahead. That I encountered because I'm never really like in the middle of the mess. I never catch it, but this time I caught it. I was around for that whole Tasha K, Cardi B, Armand Wiggins thing. I would I seen every message I when they first that. got posted. I was in the um Twitter thing with Cardi B. I was literally like front row to all. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back. Time. I'm gonna have to go back and catch that shit because that that whole conversation happened, and uh, two other content creators were talking about it, and it just when they talk about shit, I don't pay attention. It tells me it doesn't matter. Girl, that shit had me. When I, tell I gotta you, go back I and look at it. Laughing. I, I saw that Cardi B got upset because Tasha K was hiding her assets. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't know. I mean, what happened today? I just remember when Tasha oh, that was just today? came out. Yeah, Tasha came out swinging at a uh, uh, storm and roll calling. Uh, <laughs> God, damn, that was like, what the hell? <laughs> How did he catch Excuse me. Straight? Are we still gay shaming men who are openly gay? I, I don't think I look. She had that man, master, you know what. And, she she put those pictures like that of him up on Twitter, and I'm like, yo, how did he catch this stray? Like, what did he do? And then she just started going. She first she went in on Storm and Row, and then she just started like every time you refresh, she was making new tweets. And I'm like, yo, I was like, Tasha, where is your handler? Where's your handler, girl? Like, like, are you, like, her are husband you on can't that handle stuff? her. Mr. Kibi ain't got no leash. Girl. That man, who it's not my business. It's, oh yeah, you know what, Miss Na- Miss Snyder's between the aliens and the ocean. I don't know, girl. It's a know. hot alien summer. You ain't know, girl. I'm telling you, it's some, <laughs> it's, it's a politician out here a dick and cows in the booty because there is no way that all this other shit has become more important. No, my gosh. This, this, look, the JF, the new JFK dude. They got him shirtless, hugged up on another man. I said. It's just so fun. Who cares in 2023? Girl. It's Pride Month. Let these niggas be. It then so the, the planet literally is going faster, and there's supposed to be, like, a, a meteor shower, like, a major one. There's some, there's some shit popping. I really was hoping y'all would talk about them aliens tonight, but we'll have to get into that. Um, maybe Girl. maybe you guys will let us talk about that next week, because... Uh, that happened out here. 